Hourglass. A sand-filled wasteland, regarded by many as one of the worst multiplayer maps ever created. Well, DICE has finally come through with the rework, about 18 months after launch, and honestly, I enjoy playing the rework. The main issue here is all my time playing on the reworked version, I've noticed the attacking team struggling to win games most of the time. I wanted to create a guide for how to win on Hourglass and give y'all a little more confidence on the battlefield. For those of you who don't know, my main game mode is Breakthrough on Battlefield 2042, so this guide will be focusing on this mode only, and the attacking team specifically, which is the US side. I understand not everyone plays the game the same way I do, but I wanted to show y'all how I approach this new layout as an aggressive infantry main. If you want to see different versions of this guide for other maps, modes, or maybe the defense instead of offense, please let me know. I'm more than happy to make these videos for y'all. Without further ado, let's jump into attacking on Hourglass. So starting off, I like to grab a ride with one of the team's armored vehicles, or if that's not an option, I'll grab a recon to position myself early on the point. I have a sneaky little corner on the right side of the A flag I enjoy playing around. Just to clarify, when I say a direction such as left or right, my center focus is the enemy spawn. So I'm basing the left or right callout on where the enemies are approaching from. This spot is very advantageous for several reasons. You're able to fight off the defense while still capturing the objective. The position is easily defended with a couple of teammates nearby. Not to mention the nice head glitch you can use with the sand hill or the actual building itself. The main threat in this position is the high ground on the right, where enemies will sometimes wrap around and shoot down on you. So be aware of that highly probable scenario. Once you have thinned the enemies off of the point, either smoke to push on the roof or just use an opportunity you can find to move and start picking them off from the spawn. If this is not an option, try pushing outside uh, on the right side near the trailers. You have a clear line of sight to the enemy spawn, pop a couple guys here, then rotate back to the roof and finish the flag cap. The goal here is to create constant pressure on the defense while they are running back trying to recapture the objective. The defense is mostly exposed in their spawn, so during this sector, once you push up, take advantage of those free kills. Now pushing the B sector is gonna involve lots of smoke, so make sure to come prepared. I like to rush the tunnel as fast as possible. The initial push will consist of you using these truck trailers as cover, but be careful not to get shot underneath them. The enemy can shoot your feet, once you close in on the tunnel, you'll find several spots where the defense like to bunch together. The edge of the highway where the tunnel opens up, there's a spot where the sand meets the road. There are always people waiting in this spot. Once this spot is clear, you're going to want to just play for the destroyed tank just outside the tunnel. It's really the only cover you have to work with. Again, smoke is important for pushing the tunnel. You can get shot from across by the arch or on top of the B flag. So play around the broken tank and clear anyone you see at the tunnel entrance. I like to push left side tunnel first due to more cover and more spots for the rats to hide in. So clear the nest and get ready for more action around the opening in the roof. Enemies will constantly peek down from above and shoot you. So always try to position yourself out of their sight. There is a broken truck in the tunnel on the right side as well, that tends to be a popular spot for the defense, and they always love to put their spawn beacons there, so might as well clear that whole area. Now from here, you have two options. You can push into the tunnel system and start working on B2, or you can take the zip line up and start clearing the remaining enemies on B1. Unfortunately, DICE tends to give the defense the worst spawns ever created. So for B1, they spawn under the arch, out in the open with literally zero cover. I can sit on the elevated highway and pick them off one by one with no issues. With the right setup, like an LMG or a DMR, this is an easy 20 kills added to your round. Pushing B2 can be a challenge since both teams are fighting over a giant open crater in the desert. Once again, smoke is your friend here. 
The tunnels are a fun meat grinder option, but I'm, I'm more of a hit a crazy flank kind of player. I normally clear the main street area or the top side of B2, then work my way down into the crater or bunker depending on where the enemy is positioned. I try to make a play for the broken part of the bridge that's inside the crater and use it to cover my back. I clear all around me in areas like the white trailer and the broken truck outside the crater that enemies like to sit at. Then I start peeking over the top part of the bridge piece and picking off targets as they push back into the open crater. This again is an easy way to rack up some kills. Once your team has enough control, push through the crater towards the other side, the red containers, and I'm able to still capture the objective and pick off kills as soon as they appear in the sand. Don't be afraid to take high ground on the bridge as well to shoot down on them. Be careful of enemies up here as they do have a zip line for easy access. Another option for the B2 flag would be to grab a recon and hit a wide flank in the sand and approach from the enemy's spawn. Assuming they have no vehicles around, you can play on the bridge and hit a nice flank to make room for your team to push up. Bring a spawn beacon with you on this push to quickly run it back. This also seems like a good time to talk about vehicles. Most of the time I focus on infantry, but sometimes if my team is really struggling to push, I will grab a brawler, tank, maybe even the condor to create some space. A lot of times people just grab vehicles and waste them but a competent squad in one or two vehicles can literally carry a lobby. So if your team is bleeding tickets and you need a Hail Mary, don't be afraid to utilize your team's vehicles to create space. Even if this means sitting in the gunner seat for a few minutes or dropping some, some repairs, extra support in the vehicles for your team can go a long way. Now don't forget those vehicle tips because we are more than likely gonna need them for these last two sectors. I've played a lot of Hourglass since the rework and I can tell you, teams very often get stopped on the C flag. It can be a tricky push as infantry, so let's go through it together. Number one tip again for the sector, you guessed it, use smoke grenades. Run along the bottom of the highway and try smoking the defensive barriers where the enemy is waiting for you. This will allow you to at least get close to them, and from here you can start moving around looking for picks. I normally work around the right side of the highway, but it also depends on how the enemy is set up. I may start off on the right side, then rotate when my side gets a little too hot. A nice reposition will allow you to reset health, ammo, and then hit from another direction. Maybe throw some C5 or grenades over the top barriers to thin out the herd. All we are doing is clearing out this front side. They will be packed in here deep. You'll probably die and have to run it back several times, but that's okay. This is Battlefield, it's okay to die. Once your team can push into the objective a little bit, I either play around the top of the highway or back right side of the highway. Having nice head glitch, I like to play around to prevent the defense from regaining their ground. I play around this backside looking for kills and occasionally swinging under the bridge to look for picks on the objective. From this position, you are able to essentially hold the entire side of this objective all by yourself. The goal is to create space for your team to push up, minimizing the opponents on the front line. This is probably one of the more difficult flags to take, but it really just depends on your team. Assuming your push doesn't go this smoothly, you're gonna wanna try vehicle options. Use a recon to hit an aggressive flank. Go for a ride in the Condor and land on one of the skyscrapers with a spawn beacon for an easy flank every life or back up your team with some heavy armor like a tank ram or whatever you see fit for your situation finishing up this push with the d sector normally starts off with me pushing left to capture d1 first if you have a low ticket count at this point i suggest grabbing some squad mates and going for the d2 rush to try and throw the enemies off Resuming my normal push on D1, DICE added some nice hills and cover in this courtyard area in between the two buildings, so it's way less painful to push the sector compared to the previous map layout. Use the cover to push through the main building and towards the flag. From here, your job is easy. Grab a position on the right side concrete wall and use the cover to easily pick off the defense in the objective area. From this position, you can capture the point and remain relatively safe. Maybe throw a smoke towards D2 just in case someone rotates from that flag. Just be careful of enemy armor in this sector. A lot of times that's the main thing killing me at this point in the round. D1 shouldn't be much of an issue, but D2 can be a little more tricky. On the rotation over to D2, again, 
Smokes are your friend here, since there are some open patches in between the covered areas. Also, the defense likes to sit behind or under the trailers here, so make sure to clear those out as you push through and watch your toes. Now, if you're pushing directly from D1, I would say hit the left side of D2 or the more red looking building that's also on fire. Clear the interior, but more importantly, the flower beds out front are actually a very nice spot to set up and clear the flag with. Just watch out for prone campers in the flower beds. Caspers love to sit there, so don't get assassinated. But similar to D1, you have a nice concrete wall to use as cover in the flower beds, plus a little vegetation keeps you pretty well hidden. If you aren't seeing anyone on the point, they are probably in the middle of the objective around one of these trailers in the street. Again, be careful, they can shoot under at your feet. So if the first push isn't an option, I would suggest playing around the first skyscraper or the one that's closest to your main deployment. DICE actually made a nice change here and rotated the entire building so the doors are facing the correct directions. Play around this skyscraper and start by clearing the interior. Check for any spawn beacons on the second floor and then from here you're free to peek out the front door or the back door and kill enemies on the point while they're running in from spawn. The defense is pretty exposed in this last sector, minus a couple of cars and trees, so take advantage of them not having any cover and lay down some fire while they are running back to the point. The only real threat I face in this sector is the enemy armor. If you can get past that, you should be heading towards victory. That's all I have for y'all today. Put all my effort into this video, so I really hope y'all enjoyed. If you're looking for live gameplay, make sure to check out my Twitch. I stream every single week. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.